Good morning and welcome to this HTML5 course. In this chapter, we're going to look at links. So here is a new file. So it's a page for the coffee. You can see that I have an index.html, a still sheet and some images. Here we are going to try to modify our menu, which is here, by adding links of navigations. So for that I'm going to work on my code here. So at the level of my li of my list and I'm going to add links. To add a link, it's done with an a tag. So I put my a tag and there it proposes href. Here we will have to put the link that we want to indicate. So as this is our home, we are going to redirect it to our index page. We are going to put my close in tag just after. So here. In this way, if I refresh my page, you can see that I have a link to my home. So if I click on it, I will be taken back to this page because it's my home page. Now we are going to do the same thing with all our lists. So I'm going to put on a tag and I'm going to indicate the link to it. So with our coffee page, we can for example say copycoffee.html. I will put my a closing just after my little coffee and I will repeat the process for all my links so it will be how.html for the moment this page that don't exist we will create them later so I'm putting my closing tag here So we will put latest.html Finally I will put locations.html So here I'm going to update and now I have links for all my LA. So we can style these links in our style sheet. So we can add or selector A and for example change the color of our links. You'll see they are blue and highlighted so it will be by default if you want. This is the default style for our A tag. We're going to change its color so we can put our links, for example, in black. So if I refresh, you see now that my links are in black. To remove the fact that it's highlighted, it will be necessary to put a text decoration. So the decoration of the text to know. You can see that if I refresh, I don't have my links highlighted anymore. However, be careful because if you remove the highlighting, the user mightn't know that these are links that are being captured. You have to make the difference, for example, by adding some style or background, something specific for all your links. We can also make sure that if the user has clicked on a link, it changes color to indicate that he has already visited this page. So for example, if I click on coffee, so it doesn't work because we don't have a coffee page, we haven't created it yet, but if I click on home, and while I stay on my page index.html, so I'm going to tell him that if the visitor has already visited our site, and well, that changes the color of the text, and that puts it in blue, for example, 
So if I refresh, you see that as that as I visited my page, and well, now it puts in blue. Now we are going to create our coffee page. So we are going to copy and paste our index page. So we are going to rename it coffee. We are going to make some changes, for example, our H1. We're going to change it and we're going to write coffee. We're going to remove the image. And we're going to add some text. I'm going to remove that. We're going to add some text, for example, on H2. We won't spend a lot of time calling, calling it Coffee One. We'll put a small paragraph and we'll put Lorem 100. We will do the same thing and we'll just copy that. And we'll come and paste it. And we'll just change the H2 by Coffee 2 and Coffee 3. So you see now that uh, if I click on Coffee, I have a page that is displayed with a little text. You see that my page scrolls and my footer doesn't move. And well, that's because in my style sheet, we can see that the footer has a fixed position. That's why it doesn't move. We can add the padding so that here our text is a little higher. So in my main, I'm going to add the padding bottom. It's already there, so we'll just modify it and we'll put a padding bottom, for example, of 150, and we'll see what it does. You see that there is a margin that is more consequent. Earlier we had 100, so if I update it so that you can see, well, here earlier we had that. If I put a little less 140 to see, that's great. So this is our coffee page. Now we are going to add some internal navigation links. We're going to add the list to our coffee page just below the title. So I'm going to put here coffee one. And I'm going to copy this line for my coffee two and my coffee three. So here we are going to add internal links. You can see now in my rendering that I have my list displayed. And I'm going to be able to add my links. So I put my A tag. And I'm going to put my closing tag just after the text. The easiest way to do this is to copy this line. So I only have to change it here. So instead of putting on external link as we did earlier, we will put on internal link. The idea is that when I click on my coffee one, it will take me back to this paragraph. And so if I click on coffee two, it will take me to the next paragraph. For that, we will have to put an ID here. So we will call it one. I'm not very inspired. <laughs> we will put an ID here and we call it two. And an ID here that we will call here free. So I'm going to put my IDs here. So we will call it one. 
to and free. So if I update and I click, for example, on coffee free, you see that it brings me to paragraph free. In the same way, if I click on coffee, it takes me back to the first paragraph. If I click on coffee two, it takes me back to the second paragraph. What we can also do is add a link at the very bottom of our page. So I will add the paragraph to which I will add a link A and I will put it top and I will say top of the page. So I will put my little idea at the very top of the page because when we click on it, it will take us back to the top of the page. So if I refresh and go down, I have my link here. And when I click on it, it takes me back to the top of my page. At the very bottom of my page, you can see that I have a Facebook image. So we're going to make this image clickable. To do this, we're going to put on a link. We're going to surround our image with this a tag. I'm going to make a tabulation. so that it's more readable so here i'm going to put the link to my site so http facebook.com and now if i refresh my page and i click on my image we can see that it redirects me to the facebook site i can also ask that this link opens on a new page, for that I will use target and here I will put him underscore blank. You will see that by updating, if I click on Facebook, it opens now in a new page.